M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu SCU LAN 10 Internet Interface, which allows you to remotely control your 710, your FTDX 101, your FTDX 10, and probably other radios as well, because I have watched some videos where Yesu have been saying that they are going to backwards create some compatibility for older radios like the 991, but you know, watch this space. I'm setting mine up with the 101 later, but not today. This is just an unboxing. You are gonna need a printer cable, hopefully with some ferrite rings. So let's just, for now, let's see what's in the box. And then we'll come back and do a, a full install. And you know, there's the learning curve. Whenever you get a device like this, there's a learning curve. So what's the first thing we're seeing in here? Oh. Very handy, a printer cable, a new one. I didn't even know it included that. So that's a nice little addition. This looks like the accessory port cable with some ferrite cores there, very nice. The actual unit is about the same size as my HRI 200 box that I've got. Move the box out of the way. I'm not seeing instructions at the moment, so we'll have to download them. There is a firmware update so that you can use your Yesu 710. So there's the box. I mean, it's almost identical to the HRI 200 box. Quite a few connectors on the back. Got the accessory port, the 232. I'm not seeing a 232 cable. LAN, because you do need to plug this into a, a LAN connection to your broadband. USB there, DC cable as well. My guess is it's probably going to be powered from the from the USB cable, but it does have that DC in. I'll look into that as well. LAN, two, th I've got one of these 232 cables that I've used on other items on the front there. Just a couple of flashing lights and a reset. So yeah, just a quick unbox and then more, more to come. The only cable I'm wondering is, is if I may need the DC in or not. So more to learn. Thanks for watching my channel. Just unboxing that for now. Bye for now.